So macOS 15, also known as macOS Sequoia, just like this car is here and in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can download it as you can see here on my device i have the update if i go to my system settings and then go to general and go to where it says software update boom mac os 15 beta 1 and it comes in as version 15.0 with an update size of 6.44 gigs i'm coming from mac os 14 sonoma but now you can see how mac os 15 sequoia looks like so this is the update and alongside this since apple is updating a bunch of other stuff you can see we have final cut pro supplement content that has been updated and if you click on it you can see some of the presets that have been updated so this is one of the many updates that are here so in order for you to be able to download mac os 15 sequoia i have put a list of what you need to do and the first thing i would like to encourage you to do if you are planning on installing this update mac os 15 sequoia is to not install this on your main device first or initial betas of mac os 15 are going to be very buggy with a ton of issues applications are going to crash and transitions aren't going to be as smooth so what i encourage you to do first is not to install this update on your main device if you have another mac that's laying around or that you don't depend on or for your work school or on a daily then that's the mac that you should be looking into installing the update on the second thing i encourage you to do before attempting this is to go into your settings and then go to profiles right here and if you see any profile that has to do with any previous mac os update like mac os 13 mac os 12 or even 14 initially we required a profile if you see that you want to go ahead and remove it but keep in mind that if you're not your devices systems administrator then you might have to contact your it or your systems admin to give you the correct authority after removing the profile i recommend you restart your device just to give mac os 15 sequoia a fresh start on your device next thing i recommend you do is get an external hard drive ssd preferred since mac os tend to have a lot of files this is a sandisk extreme ssd it's four terabytes so more than the storage capacity of my mac and once you have this you can go into your mac and then back up your mac using time machine or alternatively what you can do is go into iCloud and then choose or select the things that you want to back up to your iCloud if you have enough storage there's also third-party software that you can use to back up your Mac such as Trailblazer there is Cloner and there is super super that you can use as well alternatively if you have an SD card or something that doesn't have enough storage to do a time machine backup you can manually back up like your documents your photos or what you or what matters to you most with all that said and done this is how you'll be able to download mac os 15 sequoia so the first thing you're going to do is open up the browser of your choice so i've just opened up chrome this is just a test to show you and go to this website developer.apple.com and then once you are here you can see it talks about wwdc but if you go to where it says account it will prompt you to sign in if you don't have an account you can uh, go to where it says create create yours right now and once you've created an account there's no need to click enroll if you come up to a screen that says enroll alternatively if you don't want to use the website you can always use the developer application that's made by apple this one that you see right here so if you open it for the first time it's going to launch like this if you look on the bottom tab right here it says my name but for you if it says an account you want to click there and then sign in or sign up if you don't have an account and if you come up to a pop-up screen that says enroll there's no need for you to enroll because as i'm about to show you right here apple has different developer memberships that are available right here and you can see there's two that are available one is signing in with your apple id which is what we just did and the other one is apple developer program so if you click enroll you get the one that is the apple developer program but you can see that cost 99 us dollars per year but just for the purposes of downloading mac os 15 or mac os sequoia beta 1 and testing it out you can see that os beta releases are free with just signing in with your apple id which is why i'm saying just sign in with your apple id so once you've signed in don't click and roll as i've shown and now what you can do is you can restart your device if you want but it's not 
always necessary and now you can go into your settings and go to software update if you were on mac OS sonoma you probably had it and what you want to do is go to where it says beta updates and you want to unclick mac OS sonoma developer beta or public beta depending which one you were on and once you've unclicked that just click where it says mac OS sequoia developer beta and then click done your settings application will just go through a refresh and then after that it will show you mac os 15 beta 1 which is the software update that we have right here so you can see right here if you click more it takes you to the tab right here and it has apple intelligence included as well so this is something that's good and that's how you can download mac os 15 sequoia i'm soon going to be looking at different features and changes that mac os 15 sequoia introduced so if that's something that you want to follow and want to see i do here on the channel hit like and leave a comment for the algorithm and i'll see you in the next update pretty soon peace